Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fuji Blitz and today we've got a bit of a special one for you. Today we're just going to look at two fantastic replays. First off we've got a good friend of mine, White Raven of the clan J4F, rolling out in the American Tier 4, the T6E2. It's a premium tank and I'll be honest with you, it's not one of my favourites. What is it about this tank that I don't like? Well, when this tank first came into the store, it came up as a pop-up offer. You know, one of those 24-hour things. And I think it was going for about anywhere between 10 to $15 or thereabouts. And I looked at it and I thought, wow, it looks like a ram. You know, it looks like it's got a sh the Stuart chassis with basically a, a Sherman-looking hull. It's not a Sherman, obviously. And it's like a ram. And I thought, yeah, you know, it's got a big derp gun as well. It's stubby and derpy. I'll get it. And the only derp attribute this gun has is its excessively long reload. Okay, you're knocking out an average damage of about, I end out for a 160, which ain't that bad if you're lucky. I mean, nine times out of ten, you're going to be knocking out 140. But, for a tier 4 with a 10 second reload, I mean, that's a long time. Not only that, it's paper thin. I mean, this thing gets penned all over the place unless you're really lucky. Which, to be fair to White Raven, he's quite lucky here. I mean, he's bounced 255 so far. Knocked out 96, he's now bounced 335. That's the most he's going to bounce in this game. But that is an impressive amount for this tank. Let's not kid ourselves. Not to worry though, I mean, if you notice, White Raven hasn't really killed anything. And the reason for that, well, we'll get to that in a bit. And because it's a tier 4 game, everything's camping in the corner. It kind of allows White Raven to get some free shots in. He's lost a lot of hit points though, more than half. And he's only stayed on this ridge. Okay, he's knocked out 40 million damage, which is really good going. And you know, you can't fault the chap. He's been sat on this ridge line holding it all the time. And look at the rest of his team. They're all sort of congregated around the base area. No one's really pushing anyone anywhere, which is, you know, normal in a, in this sort of tier four game. Sorry, I had a bit of an inch on the end of my nose there. Um, you can see here there's a Panzer three coming in. But again, no one's really pushing the Panzer three. The Panzer three is going to have to push. The thing that lets this tank down is, I mean, if this game's a tier four, tier three game, when you face tier fives, it's a different argument. I mean, I rolled out because there was a birthday on it a couple of days ago or a week ago or something. And I thought, I'll roll out on it and get the birthday done. And I went straight into two tier five games. And you just get annihilated. I mean, the tier five tanks just rip you to shreds. And they have no problem with penning you at all. Now the reason why he's only got one kill is as you saw there, that Panzer III came hurtling around the corner, White Raven knocks him for four, 140, and then because of his long reload, the kill gets taken by somebody else because it just takes too long to reload this gun, which is a shame. Anyway, comes around the corner, they're still camping, hello Panzer IV, goodbye Panzer IV. There's a Panzer III though, and that's a tier three tank, and he's not gonna struggle to camp. And the thing is, he's got a better reload. Okay, so White Raven's just knocked him for 150. But he's knocking 80 in, a, in half the time. You know, two shells, that's 160. So, you know, you haven't really got a lot of derp. It may seem like it, but because the long reload time, I mean, a shell every 10 seconds, that's a long time, guys. The DPM on this thing isn't fantastic. Oh, I don't know where that shell went. Went somewhere. So White Raven's now done 2,232, which is really, really good going in this tank. Panzer III there, Panzer III A in fact, he's a one shot, but then again so is White Raven. Can he get lucky? Oh, the Panzer III misses, White Raven doesn't. 2,262. He ain't got a hope and owl's chance of getting over to the Hetzer before somebody else. They managed to clear the enemy before the countdown runs. That is the best game you're ever going to see in this tank. Quite literally, because that one is number one in the Hall of Fame currently. I mean, that is a fantastic game. It's a well-deserved mastery. Shed a ribbons and stuff. 
Okay, he only got three kills, carried the team clearly, I mean, by far. Look at his stats, fantastic stuff. So massive congratulations to White Raven there for making it into the Hall of Fame. A thoroughly deserved spot indeed. So we got rid of the first replay, what about the second one? Wow, this is my good friend Jory12, long time supporter of the channel and a member of R2K, rolling out in his little Leo 1, the tier 10 German medium tank. And he's sporting the pro camo because yes, he was in Vail, he was in the spring season. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm one of those guys who generally struggles in the Leo 1. Why? Well, because its armor is pretty non-existent. I mean, it is a paper thin tank. And if you stick it in the wrong place, then you get smacked just like that. I mean, there you go. I mean, Jory knocks him for 300 and he gets 392 taken out of him. And that can happen. However, this video is a masterclass in how to play the Leo. And if you watch what Jory does in this video, I mean, it's, it's an eye opener. You can see he's not taking any risks at this moment in time. You can see that there's three tanks there. There's a T-54, which he just smacks. He gets one in return. You can see the SU-122, and he can see the Leo-1 on the opposite team. leo one's just fine. That gives Jory the opportunity to go in there and pop a shot down his nose. The Leopard-1 is now gone. Jory so far has not really been setting the world on fire. 1,727, but it's early days. As you can see, I mean, look at this. I mean, look at the gun depression. I mean, this is a fantastic tank once you know how to play it. And the thing with this tank is you've got to be careful because it is so vulnerable. 2,755, and he's now taken his first kill. The SU is side on. And, well, clearly, he's brawling there with the E50, hoping to get rid of the E50. He's not doing too well, unfortunately. This allowed Jory to pop in, kill number two. There goes the SU-122. One of the best DPMs, if not the best DPM in the game. Now Jory has sort of removed himself from the IS-4. He gets shots into the ho -ri. We're now up to 3,600. Can he finish the ho -ri? Of course he can. There he goes. The IS-4 is up there. Now the IS-4 can really hurt Jory. He's not focused on Jory at the moment. This allows Jory to come in and remind him that there's a tank there. Oh, the E-50 kills himself, as you do. Jory, however, is able to get free damage effectively into that IS-4. The IS-4 is now um, fired again. On a long reload, Jory able to come up and smack his nose. Now, Jory has only got 630 odd hit points. The IS-4 is totally not interested in Jory, which, to be fair, was a mistake. I mean, the IS-4 should have pushed Jory in this lip, in this Leo. He didn't, and that's going to be his undoing, as you see. I mean, he's been taken out by the grill. So, he's now done 5,239 damage. He's taken three kills. A low, oh, that doesn't pen the MX. Clearly the IS-4 is not happy. Will the next one pen? Of course it will. That goes nicely through the AMX. Now the AMX-50B there is a really particularly nasty tank. Almost as nasty as that VK-7201K. Jory is still on 636 hit points. So it, he's got it all to play for. Let's be honest. It's not, it's not going to be an easy game this. It's... You know, there's the AMX-50 and the VK. There's an IS-4 and a grill. The IS-4, well, I don't know what the IS-4 is doing. There's the AMX. Allows Jory to get one in. Jory is worried about the 72, but not overly worried. It's a slow tank. Can he get another one into the AMX? Of course he can. The VK is still rumbling towards Jory. Now again, I don't understand why the VK came up this side and why he didn't cross over. He is a big heavy on all his hit points. He could have absolutely smashed this little Leo 1 for, for to smithereens. Jory is now down to 51 hit points. There goes the AMX. Jory's fourth kill. The VK is still on all his hit points. He is a super heavy. I don't know why he's not attempting to force Jory out here. Um, maybe he's a new player. I don't know. But it, what he should be doing, he should be trying to force Jory out. He's not. Jory, you should be seeing, you know, if you're playing this game, you should see that 
He's got four kills. He's being a real pain in the backside. The IS-4 hasn't been a pain in the backside at this moment in time. You can see the IS-4 is slowly making his way over here now. The IS-4 is a one shot. Jory gets a nice shot in there to the rear of the VK. The VK does have quite a long load time. The IS-4 gets a shot in. Now the VK is focused on the IS-4, he wants the kill. The IS-4, in fairness, is a one shot, but he is not the problem child. The Leo 1 of Jory is the problem child. And what he should be doing, he should be pushing the Leo 1. He didn't push him, and that is going to be his undoing. Jory is now at 7,505 damage. He hasn't bounced anything. He's taken four kills. You've got to, you've got to say, I mean, this is in the bag. I mean, the VK came up with all his hit points. He's got half. He now turns his turret to face the, the IS-4. This allows Jory to just farm him again. And he does. Now he's up to 8,081. 8,479. The IS-4 is going front on. Very difficult to pen a VK front on. Jory comes around the back. Boom! Takes kill number 5. 8,000. 336 damage, 60,000 credits, 5 kills, a wow deserved mastery. Look at the scores there, I mean it's just wow, that was a big carry, amazing stats, 35, 28 pens, 8,636 and that is currently number 4 in the Hall of Fame. Fantastic job Jory, well done indeed. So that's been my video on two truly fantastic replays big thank you to white raven and the clan j4f for sharing his top spot hall of fame replay in the american tier 4 t6e2 and also a massive thank you to jory 12 of the clan r2k for his just missing out of the top spots there in the leo one but boy two fantastic games indeed anyway i've been fujit that has been White Raven and Jory at their best. And one day I hope to emulate them also. By all means, comment, like, even share the video if you really want to. If you haven't yet pressed subscribe, why not? You might as well, it doesn't cost you anything. Put a smile on my face, makes me happy, and you never know, it might make you happy too one day. If you've got any decent replays, by all means, wing them across to me at fujitsblitz at gmail.com or post them to my Discord server, whichever's easier for you. And until the next time, I will say my usual stuff. Stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. And that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.